This bill I'm about to sign the law, in my view, represents what I've always believed. America is the only nation in the world, and I believe there's every fiber in my being, the only nation in the world that can be defined, as I told Xi Jinping seven years ago, by a single word. He asked me to define America for him when I was in China. He and I were alone in the Tibetan Plateau. I said, I can do it in one word, and I mean it. Possibilities. In America, everything is possible. We believe every and anything is possible. It's part of the soul of this country. I mean, it really is. This is the moment we face. I really mean this. I believe with every fiber of my being. We, all, we hear all the noise out there. <laughs> we know there are those who focus more on seeking power and securing the future, excuse me, <laughs> than securing the future. Those who seek division instead of strength and unity. We tear down rather than build up. Today is a day for builders. Today, America is delivering, delivering. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. He calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the M-A-R-K in there, R-I-H-T-H-A-N-D, or in their F-O-R-E-H-E-A-D-S. Verse 17 in the book of Revelations 13 chapter in the Holy Scriptures and it reads and that no man might buy or sell save he that has the M-A-R-K or the name of the B-E-A-S-T or the number of his name Revelations 18 and 13 Here's the number, let him that understand counting the number of the B-E-S-T, for it is the number of a man, and his number is, you know what, hundred, three scores, and you know what. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles and the great millstone pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you Akim out there. As you've seen Joe Biden, you know, made that announcement that he's uh, creating more chips of computer chips and, you know, competition with uh, China and the tech industry, you know, because which is China is dominating in that when it comes to technology, you know, with the cell phones and uh, televisions and anything that's uh, tech technology related. To the computers as well too and everything you name in the category that's you know technology wise and you know he was mentioning those chips you know those computer chips and then you know and it comes into mind that you know that's when that MOTB comes in that corrupt because we are getting a step closer which the scriptures that I just referenced to you know of those uh, chips being on its way to here in the daughter of Babylon you know that shows you that the hour temptation is coming that the MOTB is on its way we are now more step closer now than ever 
of the MOTB is being more implemented, you know, because there's going to be a time where you is going to be, you have to use that information that are being right in your, in your body, but I'm not going to say much about it because I don't want my channel to get the, you know what, you know, which is a strike or, you know, examples like that. So that's why I keep it in code. But yeah, you know, we are a step closer to the MOTB, that Karagra, you know, the hour temptation. Either you down with this, uh, I do mean agenda, this I do me agenda, you know, and it's going to go all the way into 2030 as well, too. That's a new agenda that's coming as well, too. The NWA, you know, the hour temptation, you know, when they try to have those things implemented in you. So you can have all your information stored in your B-O-D-Y, you know, like your uh, important documentation papers, your social security number, your driver's license, your bank information, you know. And then, you know, once you have all that stuff, you know, um, secured in your B-O-D-E-Y. You know, because that <clears throat> idiot down with this uh, B E A B E A S T system. Because, like the scripture says, you can't serve two masters. You know, you're going to love the one and not like the other. So that means if you're down with this uh, upcoming, uh, the Karakma of the MOTB, the Our Temptation, either if you're down with this uh, B E A S T system, which is about to be fully implemented very soon. Because it's going to be a cashless society. A full, all cashless society. Because we are definitely entering in those times. Especially how the way technology is being more advanced nowadays. Because everything is going to be more advanced into being digital. A fast-paced, non-stop techn techn technology digital, you know. Because we are definitely entering in those times as a cashless society. The dollar, the paper dollar might be value right now, but when it comes to time, it's going to be everything is going to be full digital, you know, paperless digital, you know, because the value of the dollar is not going to be more, no more value because everything is going to be digital, you know, that's why they're trying to push for this chip. That's why this chip is going to be uh, poor. You know, either you down with this uh, NWA agenda and this B-E-A-S-T system and the uh, Karakma, because everything is going to be full digital. And I'm going to bring up a news article in regards to that, you know. So lock it. Yeah, this is from Associated Press, and a highlight of this news article, and it reads from Associated Press, Joe Biden signs a $280 billion CHIP Act to boost U.S. over China, because, you know, these are the two superpowers, you know, even though China is on top of that list of uh, superpower when it comes to technology. And it says, uh, <clears throat> President Joe Biden on Tuesday signed a $280 billion bipartisan bill to boost domestic high-tech manufacturing parts 
of the administration pushed to boost the competitiveness over China. A flagness by schools of lawmakers and unions and officials and law politicians and business leaders, Biden fitted the letters fitted the legislation a core part of his economic agenda that will incentivize investments in the American semiconductor industry in efforts to ease the U.S. reliance on overseas supply points, which is like made in China, made in Taiwan, you know, in other countries that manufacture these things, which is not American-owned, you know. <clears throat> overseas supply chains and critical cutting-edge goods. The future of the chip industry is going to be made in America. Right, they pushing for that chip. You know, we're getting one step closer to that MOTB, that Karab. Even though they trying to say it's about uh, computer chips and electronics and phones, computers, laptops, TVs, anything that's electronic. But it's going to be pushed for that chip, that MOTB, you know, that Karab. It says the future of the chip industry is going to be made in America. It says uh, Biden says in sweltering rose garden ceremony because you you know because you have like big tech jobs over there in like in San Francisco or Seattle like Seattle Washington where you had like Microsoft station there and everything. And then those big tech jobs, I believe for the past couple of years has declined because they was mostly the high, you know, the high paying tech jobs like in San Francisco or any parts of uh, California and the West Coast of sort of like the uh, upper Northwest, right, the upper Northwest, Western region, Portland and Seattle and parts of uh, San Francisco, the Bay Area. That's where you had those like technology tech jobs, you know. So continuing on with the reading, you know, I just want to add a two cents on that in regards to the technology. It says the future of chip industries is going to be made in America. Biden says it is sweltering Rose Garden ceremony Tuesday refers to the Dementive devices that power everything from smartphones to computers to automobiles. And legislation set aside a $52 billion specifically to bolster the computer chip sector. Uh, the bill has been more than a year in the making, but finally clearing both chambers of Congress late last month with the significant bipartisan margins the senate passed 64 to 33 with 17 gop senators supporting it while the house quickly followed suit with the 243-107 vote that includes 24 house republicans favor and party leaders began urging their ranks to vote after their ranks to vote against it after Democrats advance a sweeping, I mean, a separate sweeping bill focusing on climate and health care. And it says the White House sought to begin uh, Salaki. It says the White House sought saw Tuesday begin the selling of the immediate impact of the semiconductor measuring nothing that the Micron and leading U.S. chip manufacturer will announce a $40 billion plan to boost domestic productions of memory chips while the Qualcomm and global funneries will unveil a uh, $44.2 billion expansion in upstate New York chip plant. It says, uh,
the administration also repeatedly portrayed this legislation as a critical component and a counter influence of rising China and ensure the U.S. can maintain a competitive edge against Beijing, particularly the semiconductor manufacturing administration has held multiple briefings for lawmakers to sketch out the national security implement implications of this bill and noted during his remarks Tuesday that the Chinese government has lobbied us business against the legislation. Uh, the CHIP and Science Act is going to expire in a lot of new generation of Americans. To answer that question, what's next? Biden said on Tuesday during the signing sale motion decade for now people will look back at this week we all we pass and all we move on that we made the moment of this reflection point in history and it says uh, Tuesday's ceremony is one of the several public events Biden has scheduled since recovering from the you know what 19 uh, including a visiting flood ravaged Kentucky on Monday and another signing event on Wednesday for legislation aiding veterans who have suffered from non-toxic burn pits. It says, uh, but Biden appears to be dealing with some residual symptoms and coughing and heavy uh, several times during his remarks and apologizing at one point doing so. So yeah, you know, that's that uh another sign step closer to the MOTB, you know. The Quran. And I'm gonna bring it out again for edification's sake. This is the book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. He calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond, to receive a M A R K in their right hand or in their F O R E. H E A D S. Right, this goes for the rich and the poor, the middle class, the lower class, and the upper class. It doesn't matter what class you you in, to the lower class, to the upper class. You know, free of bond to receive that in the right part of their body. You know, in the upper part of their head as well too. You know, that's that M O T B. That's why they pushed that chip. That's why Joe Biden signed that uh, bill to compete with the uh, computer chip and technology industry, you know. And then, while that's being said, you know, and it's, it's a push right along with the chip as well, too, you know. Because it's going to be, everything is going to be all full digital, you know. And that's the MOTB comes into a full effect because we are definitely one step closer to that MOTB as which is recorded in the book of Revelations 13 through 16 through 17, you know, and through verse 18, you know, because everything is going to be all digital, you know, because you're going to have everything stored digital in your B-O-D-Y, you know. Because that's when that hour of temptation comes, you know. Because when that time comes of everything is being full digital. Because the dollar is going to be no more value, you know. Because in order to maintain yourself in this society when those times come. Because we are entering in those times of that push for that MOTB. And we are even more steps closer to the push of the MOTB. Hey, you're going to have to uh, either way to buy or sell. You're going to have to conform to that uh, B-E-A-S-T, you know, and to have that stuff stored in the B-O-D-Y to be able to maintain yourself in the society, to be able to maintain your livelihood, uh, uh, paying rent or paying bills or going at the grocery stores or going to your job to scan yourself in with that stuff implementing your B-O-D-E-Y you know 
but there's going to be a test for that. You know, that's that outer temptation. That's why they push it further more with that chip at its being, you know, at its being shown, you know. And we're seeing it right in front of our eyes of that MOTB being pushed. And we are definitely one step closer to that because everything is going to be full digital. Now we're looking at it right now as, you know, things are digital, like paperless, uh, you know, like when you uh, have your bills coming through the mail, you know, you normally get it, check the mailbox, you know, you see your mail, see your bill came in, like your phone bill or cell phone bill, you know, light bill, gas bill, you know, stuff like that. Now, they normally, you know, they give you the option, you, you know, you want to go paperless or you just want to have it regular your regular mail of your bills that you're paying every month you know coming through the mail so that's how it's going to be you know that's just a prime example on how it's going to be because everything is going to be uh paperless the paper dollar is not going to be no more value you ain't going to need no your uh important papers you know like your state id your driver's license you know your birth certificate your social security card, your important uh, papers, your bill papers, all of that, because everything is going to be all digital. And it's going to be implemented in your B-O-D-E-Y, because that's why they are pushing for that chip. That's why Joe Biden signed that bill into law, so they can compete with China and the technology industry, you know, and globally as well, too. That's why they want to push that forth, that NWA agenda. You know, what's his approaching in 2030, you know? They want to push that uh, B-E-A-S-T system even forward, uh, forward now more than ever. You know, that's when that MOTB comes into a full effect because we are definitely a step closer to that, you know? So with that, uh, I hope this was edifying. Hope this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of how Hawaii Alshai. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles and the great millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Christian's word truthfully and sincerely, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, before I close out this lesson, on this August the 9th, 2022, at 3.29 p.m. Central Standard Time, on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. So yeah, hey, after Joe Biden signed this bill to push for the CHIPS Act, to bid their boots over Taiwan for the technology industry and be more competition with China. So yeah, you know that's that shows another sign right there that the MOTB is being pushed. And it's another sign that is getting close to that. As I brought out the scriptures in the book of Revelations 13 through 16 through verse 18. So a hey, we are definitely getting a step closer to the push of the MOTB, that Karak, you know. So with that, I would say Shalom and the ball, ball.